Hey guys, Mighty Maestro here. How's it going? Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a channel update, so I figured I'd do one. More or less, it's just going to be about my channel, uh, what you can expect from me. Next little while, uh, stuff about Twisted Metal, what I've been up to. So yeah. Uh, I want to start off by thanking you guys for all the support. Uh, finally got over 200 subscribers as of this video. Yay! I mean, like, 200 isn't that many, but at the same time, I know that when I upload a video within the first couple days, I already got over 100 views, so that shows people are watching my content, and that makes me happy. So, even during the downtime, I haven't been posting anything for the last few months. Uh, people have been asking me over PSN and in-game about when things quit rolling again, so here we are. Things are finally rolling again. So for the next while, you can expect basically all my content to be Twisted Metal. Uh, if you're subscribed to me for other things like speedrunning or whatever else, it'll be a while before I really put anything of that nature up. Um, I eventually plan to get back into it, just haven't had the free time to embark on those things. I've just been kind of in my comfort zone just playing Twisted Metal and not too much else just because real life has been a burden. But eventually, plan to get around to that. Probably not in 2014, but come 2015 I plan to. So, be on the lookout for that stuff. I'll probably post another video updating by then. But yeah. So in the background, I've just got some Reaper Flamesaw clips happening. Uh, if you have a look at the quality of the video, uh, you'll see that in terms of the color balance, uh, the video is quite a fair bit better than videos previously posted on my channel. Uh, that's because I've got a new capture device since then. Uh, I was originally using a Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, and now I've got an Elgato Game Capture HD. I don't necessarily want to turn this into a product review, but I found that the Roxio really distorted the colors of whatever I recorded, and I tried hooking it up different ways, and it just ended up being the same result, which really surprised me because you know, the Roxio is pretty acclaimed, but so is the Elgato. So um, once I got that, um, it seemed to fix all my issues with the color balance. Um, as well, I, I just found that the Roxio really had a poor interface, and uh, quite often the footage corrupted or had distortions within the footage and it was just a real pain. I mean the Elgato isn't perfect either but it's far far better in the few months that I've been recording with it than my experience with the Roxio so I can't say how I recommend the Roxio anymore but um, since then it seems like everything's been a lot better um, however, before I put out any more Elgato footage, which has basically been mid to late 2014 footage, I'm planning to push out all of my Roxio stuff first. So basically that's stuff from 2013 to early 2014. Another reason I want to distinguish the Roxio footage from the Elgato footage is kind of because of the timeline of events that has occurred in Twisted Metal. We're kind of talking a bit more about the actual game now, but uh, in May, uh, the skin glitch occurred. And for those who don't know what that is, uh, basically what happened was if you don't have skin data that is associated with your PlayStation Network ID, assuming you have skins associated to your PlayStation Network ID while the skin creator for Twisted Metal was up, if you don't have those on your console, then it basically locks you out of your account because it will attempt to download those skins and it will get stuck in an infinite loop of trying to find the skin server that no longer exists because Sony took it down. So basically, everybody was locked out of their accounts for about a period of a week. Then the majority of people got restored. I got mine restored as well. But then about a week later, I got locked out again, and I've been locked out since then. The footage that you're seeing now is actually footage from the last week of me playing under my Muddy Maestro account. 
Um, I've got a few other games that I recorded with my Elgato since then, because that's about when I started using it, as soon as I regained control of my account. But, basically, since then, I have been locked out of my Muddy underscore Maestro account and my original Mega Killstreak account. Um, and since then, I've been using an alternate Mega Killstreak account. Um, there have been people that have been claiming that this account actually isn't me. Um, I'll firm up right now, this is me. Um, it is still Mega Killstreak, however, the two L's are actually I's in Mega Killstreak. So they're capital I's. So basically, if you were to spell out the word kill within my name, it is K I I I. But yeah, the capital I's look exactly like L's in Twisted Metal. So you really cannot tell the difference between that. So people have thought it's an imposter of me. No, it's not an imposter, it, it is me. So I'll firm that up right now because there hasn't been many other ways to really verify that. So yep, that is me, and that's what I've been playing under. So if you want to friend me on Twist Mail, that is the account that you want to friend me as because that's the only account that I am capable of playing Twist Metal under at the current moment. And interestingly enough, I've kind of been shying away from other vehicles that I used to main um, Death Warrant, Meat Wagon, Shadow don't use them as much as they used to. still play them every so often, but as of late I've just been finding new depths and uh, different vehicles, so it's been fun stuff. So other things worth noting is that uh, I have upgraded my rig, and in terms of streaming, that means that I potentially might be streaming again. Um, when I used to stream, I had a pretty dinky laptop and that's just because of university kind of stretching the budget but finally laid down some money got a decent PC now that can actually do a decent job streaming so I might end up doing that um, I've been advertising my twitch on my YouTube descriptions for the longest time so finally about time that if people actually took the time to click the follow button and just pay them back a bit, you know. So I plan to do that. Um, I might continue it if there is enough of a following for it because Twist Mail is a pretty niche game. I'll eventually be streaming other things on there, but I do want to try doing some Twist Metal there. Uh, maybe do it with a webcam, some commentary, kind of a thing. Um, once I'm caught up in all of my footage, then I can just export it to YouTube. I'm pretty sure the quality will be good enough that I could just port it right over. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. That's a possibility at least. So yeah, that's basically everything I plan to touch on. So yep, be expecting some new content from me. Probably something every couple of days. I'm going to be putting up montages, full games. Um, and once I get my Elgato footage running again, then be putting up some more unique stuff so yeah be on the lookout for that stuff uh, thanks again for the support and i'll catch you in game later